what does our success rate look? How does it compare to that kind of mountain average at 30%? And why is that so low on this mountain that's not necessarily technical? Yeah, it's a good question. I think uh, a lot of people underestimate Aconcagua. They think because it's non, non-technical, non it's going to be an easy walk-up peak. And it's not. A, it's a massive endeavor undertaking. And so a lot of people, you know, you can come climb Aconcagua on your own. A lot of people show up. They think it's going to be easy. And, you know, they don't make it much above base camp. And, you know, I think part of that as well is, you know, some of the local companies aren't quite as invested in success, like, you know, climbing the seven summits. And I'll talk more about this later. We build a relationship with our clientele. We want people to have a great time and be successful on Aconcagua and then go on to climb other peaks with us. Whereas a lot of the local companies, they only guide on Aconcagua and it's kind of one and done. So we really invest in that success, to try and make it a good overall experience. But yeah, we have nearly every expedition from climbing the seven summit, well over 90%. And most of our climbers do summit because of the approach we take, kind of a slow acclimatization, longer schedule, good food, best guides, all all of that. Yeah, a little bit about our philosophy. 